Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on this video. I always say it is not a coincidence. If God led you to this channel, maybe you've been watching or maybe you've been seeing my videos pop up and you've never felt the leading to click on it and you just decided to do that right now. It is not a coincidence, believe me. If God let you here, it's because he's got a word for you through me. And I pray that God will help you know help me minister to you he will help me pass across the information that he wants you to know in the mighty name of jesus so if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a release of a prophetic word you will not miss out i always say you never know when god will be ministering to you directly hallelujah glory to god the Lord laid this word in my heart and I thought to share. It's rather unfortunate. It's, it's a hard thing to believe. It's a hard place to be. But that's what happened. And if you are not taught this, you will not know how to fix it. You will not know how to move from here. You will not know what to do. But if this word is coming right now, it's because another opportunity is going to come again. God will give you a second chance that will help you to, you know, uh, make up for your wrongs. Try to right the wrongs and um, fix the things you have spoiled in the mighty name of Jesus. You messed up big time. See what your mistake has cost you. You messed up big time. One of the mistakes we do is we think what will be will be. My father has taught so many times that what will be will not be. You've got to participate in, uh, 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 you, you've got to participate to bring, to make your destiny come to pass. Okay, for example, if God created you to be one thing, and you decide to be another god will not come and superimpose for you to be that thing you are running away from so you've got to cooperate with god to cause the things that are written of you to be so if god says you would be here and you start going this way there is no way god is going to you know cause you to come back my father was teaching today and he said a miracle is a cooperation between god and man it means man has his role to play and god has his role to play the the role of man might just be an a, a step of faith and an, an, an action of faith and why the role of god is to ensure that he brings those action of faith to pass and so God might have said something concerning you. If you do nothing, nothing will happen. If you do not take actions or take a step, nothing will happen. God is a God that uh, uh, he acts in response. He, uh, God always reacts to our actions. When you take a, a move, God backs it. That is how it happens. But when the Lord gave me this prophetic word, he led me towards a particular direction. There is someone god blessed you and god kept you in a particular place it might be in the life of someone it might be in an organization it might be in a particular place god blessed you and he kept you there and you know so many of us there is a tendency with human beings when you do not have something you tend to value it you tend to look at it like Thank God for this blessing. Thank God for this, you know. Or oh, I'm praying for a day I can have this. I'm praying for a day I can have that. And immediately you have it. There is a tendency you stop looking at it like a blessing. And you start feeling entitled. And you start thinking that you can lead demands or you can do certain things. It stops being a miracle. Now it starts being an entitlement. And that is where we go wrong and we lose it. We forget that whatsoever to, takes you to where you are, you need that thing to be there. Whatsoever takes you to where you are, you need that thing to be there. If prayers led you to a particular place, you need prayers to be there. 
whatever if your qualifications took you to a particular office you've need you, you've got to build on yourself every day to make sure that you can still stay in that place you you have to stay relevant so you're going to be useful to the system when the when a day comes when you stop being relevant or useful you're going to be replaced it doesn't matter if you were the most qualified before you got there but when you stop being serviceable when you stop being useful god or the people are going to drop you because it's not going to be about your past victories or your past glory but it's going to be about what you're bringing on the table right now look at queen vashti vashti was created as royalty as a matter of fact, Vashti means beauty. She was created to be a queen. And one thing she forgot to understand that being a queen does not only mean you have to look beautiful and royal, but you've got to adhere. You've got to submit to the king. You are there for the king and not to serve your own purpose. Probably they told her that when she was growing up and they formed her, they, they, they groomed her to become a queen. But once she got into the throne and she started having mates that served her as well, maybe for, for a moment she thought she was the same with the king. Maybe for a moment she thought she could put her own needs before the king, whereas she was created or she was queen to serve the king. And so one day when the king, you know, the king threw a party, a big party, and and when they had drunk and, and celebrated and everything, he said, please call Queen Vashti. Let her come and portray her beauty. The husband was in a mood. The husband with the king was in a mood to showcase or parade his, 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 his beautiful wife. And the queen said, no, I can't do that. I'm not coming for whatsoever reason. Maybe she had a valid excuse, but... She forgot that she was there to serve the king. And serving the king means whether you like it or you don't, you've got to do it. Whether you feel like it's the right thing to do or not, you've got to do it. Or at least there is a better way of saying it. My father said something to them. I was like, yes, there, there is a way of saying no without saying no. You do not outrightly say no to someone that put you in a place that empowered you or someone you're serving. There is a way of saying no. And if you do not learn, you know, there are corporate way of, 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 of discussions. You can say no without necessarily saying no. You can say, I'm not in the, you know, my father gave an example and he said, you can, if Esther said, um, my king, I'm not in the best. I do not look as beautiful as is deserving of the king's admiration and so i feel that if you can give me two days i'll be in my toppest form and i'll be able to parade myself to to your honor and to the delight of the people that are around you it sends a different message than when you say no many of us have made mistakes destiny mistakes that have costed us the things that god had blessed us with I don't know you're watching me. Yours might be different. It might be a job. It might be that you had an opportunity to travel abroad and you messed it. I don't know. It might be a kingdom partner. Whatever the case may be, you made a mistake and right now you are in a place you have lost that which God had given you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God help you. May God restore you. And may he help you redeem the times in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have lost by the mercy of God, may God give it to you again. If you lost a partner because of your mistake i pray that by the mercy of god he will restore that relationship if you lost a job because of a mistake i pray by the mercy of god god is going to give you a better job whatsoever you have lost because of your mistake may god by his infinite mercy restore you in the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.